This is Marcus Brown bringing today's markets update. We start off the news that Emmanuel Macron will face Marion Le Pen in the final round of voting next week as a Liberal candidate took a lead into the final round of the French election. Macron secured 8.2 million votes compared to Le Pen's 7.5 million, with the euro reacting very positively on the back of the results, climbing by 1.5% and touching its highest level since November against the dollar. Markets are expected to remain positive, with some analysts anticipating that Macron's advantage could be stronger than polls suggest, and the final results will be released on the 7th of May. In other news, medical tech giant Beckton Dickinson is set to acquire C.R. Bard in a cash and stock deal believed in the region of $24 billion. The two boards of directors approved a definitive agreement, valuing Bard shares at $317 each, as the shares closed just shy of a record high at $253 spot zero seven dollars set during Thursday's trading. Beckton expects the acquisition to boost non-US growth options and raise its per share earnings in the fiscal year 2019. RBS is expected to announce its first quarterly profit since 2015 when the lender releases its latest results on Friday. This time last year the bank was reporting 968 million pound loss compared with an anticipated set of results that is set to be positive in the region of 50 to 70 million pounds. During the financial crisis, RBS received a bailout package in the region of £45 billion and the government, which still owns a 72% stake in the bank and stated their willingness to sell off their investment at a loss, will see the improved results as welcome news. Whitbread, the owner of Premier Inn and Costa, are also set to announce a positive set of annual results tomorrow. Analysts at Deutsche Bank expect the company, now run by former Lloyds banker Alison Britton, to report a 3% increase in pre-tax profits for the year ending March 2017 aided by the completion of Costa's new £38 million facility to meet growing demand. In upcoming data, 10 o'clock, the UK CBI Industrial Trend Survey for April was released, and at 12.30, US Chicago Fed National Activity Index for March is announced. Thank you for listening.